It's Bonnie. Happy Saturday. I am back. I have another new Kringle Candle Halloween review for you. Tonight, I'm going to be talking about, check it out. Um, this one is called Six Feet Under. And there is a gravestone on the candle. And it says Damon's Dark down here. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I actually burned this one last night. This is my um, evening candle for yesterday. Um, I got home a little bit later and um, I lit this one up about 9.30 and I burned it till about midnight and then I lit it up again today. Oh my gosh, I think this is like tops right now on my list. So if you're just joining me, I am a Kringle Candle Ambassador, which means if you use the code QueenGeeks, you're going to get 15% off Kringle Candle Halloween. First launch is going to be August 2nd at midnight, which is in less than a week. It's Friday night at midnight. We're going to be doing a live. We're going to be talking all about these candles. There are 12 returning candles, 12 returning, six new for a total of 18. There will be a second launch. I'll talk about that when I can, but it's super exciting. Um, so far in the new ones, I have reviewed Carnage, which is the kind of gruesome one with the knife. It smells like iron, a little metallic going on. It's not going to be for everyone, but it's unique. Um, Dreadful Dolly, which smells really good. That's got the creepy doll on it. Um, it's like an apple barn scent, which I like. I like the scent. Um, and then we have six feet under. Oh my gosh, this candle is so interesting. So the scent notes in this one are earthy green dirt. We got a dirt candle. I'm so excited that we got a dirt candle. Wood, uh, patchouli, and musk. So I know exactly what this smells like. Actually, it's wonderful. So we live in Northeast Ohio and we definitely go through the seasons here. I mean, we have a clear definition of summer, fall, winter, and spring. And we actually have um, a lot of like stone in our like yard. Uh, we have like retaining wall. Um, we have a lot of moss. <laughs> and when it rains, you know, like when you go outside and it smells a little bit different in the different seasons. Like I can always pick up that smell. Um, it kind of smells like a combination of dirt, cement, moss, and rain. And it's a good smell. Like, you know, when you go outside, you're like, oh, that smells so good. It's so fresh. Um, I love that scent. It smells good. That's what this candle smells like. Um, the scent notes are a little confusing. I mean, like when you think of dirt and you're in different parts of the country, um, I know like sometimes dirt has more clay in it. Um, you know, out west, you can have like sandy dirt. Uh, there's different like like levels of dirt. <laughs> I feel like this is a very northeast, like New England, works in Ohio, like dirt. <laughs> If that makes any sense whatsoever. But it's funny because it almost could be a little bit like of a vampire type of candle, you know, with the whole um, cemetery vibe going on. I don't know. There's a lot of things this could be. I do like the label. I think it works because I like the fact that they used um, like a cement headstone and um, they called it six feet under because it definitely has that like earthy like connotation but it's like got more in there um as far as the wood i would say there's a little bit like of a wood note um and again like a lot of times like in the fall here you get sticks falling um you have egg corns, you have like all kinds of like you know pine needles everywhere so there's like a lot of scents like moving around in there um Earthy and green, like I said, I get like a mossy scent off of this one. I like that moss going on. And then um, patchouli and musk, while they use that as a base, don't be afraid of the patchouli musk because it doesn't smell smoky at all. Um, it doesn't smell like cologne at all to me. Um, I just get like this nice earthy dirt cement vibe going on. So I love this one. Like to me, this is my kind of candle uh, for Halloween. 
Um, it's totally unique. It's got like, I, if you had people over, they go, what is that? And how can I get one? <laughs> um, love it. As far as the strength, I mean, so far, all of the Halloween candles have been performing really good. Um, full on high throw. Uh, Carnage was high. Dreadful Dolly was high. Um, this one's getting great throw. Um, I've been reburning my old Halloween candles um, because these are repackages and I'm getting, you know, good, strong throws. I did Sinister. I did um, Trick or Treat and Halloween, which is black licorice. Later this week, probably like Monday or Tuesday, I'm going to start kind of breaking down uh, these candles between like, what's a gourmand candle? What's an earthy candle? What's a um, smoky candle? Uh, just so you can get an idea, because I know a lot of people have said they want to buy like, you know, two or three, and hopefully I can break it down. If you go to my blog, Queen of the Girl Geeks, I have all of the scent notes listed and all of the reviews I've done um, so far, so you can kind of get a better idea. So anyway, like I said, I am a Kringle Candle ambassador. Kringle Candle did send me these candles for free to review and preview, and if you use the code Queen Geeks, uh, you're going to get 15% off. So I'm going to keep going. Uh, for the new ones, I still have to do Haunted Hollows, Skull and Sonnet, which I think I'm going to do next, and Thirst. They're all amazing. So I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.